Why, hello there, fam. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new around these parts, hello. Thank you so, so much for clicking. I am Anna, and on this channel, we budget plan and love us some sticky paper friends. In today's video, I am sharing my November kit lineup with you guys, although this is probably the most unreliable lineup in history because there's just a whole lot of choices. So <laughs> this isn't even December, y'all. December is also a hot hot diggity mess but we're gonna do what we can I feel attached to probably two of the kits that you're gonna see like definitely gonna use them one of them is definitely gonna be used on the week that I have it scheduled to be used everything else is kind of subject to change so yeah <laughs> Before I get into my November kit lineup, I am going to go over some changes to my October kit lineup because the first thing you'll notice is that I have this little print pression folio um, to store like the kits I'm going to be using right away. I've seen a few people use something to this extent, um, maybe not this particular one, but I've seen a few people use something like this for their sticker kit lineups and I really love this because before y'all, I was just looking through my... 150 albums basically because I have so many freaking kits as y'all well know because you've seen the hauls <laughs> but now I'm going to be using this and I think it is freaking fantastic so as you can see the very first kit was not a kit that was in my October kit lineup and it is House of Haunt so I'm not going to go over everything from October because not too much has changed but there are a couple kits that are different so I am going to go over I'm actually going to leave this one out because I'm going to lay down the base right after this um, but as you guys can see I'm planning to use House of Haunt from Caress Press still keeping the Caress Press trend alive at least <laughs> so we have the full boxes just a classic kind of Halloween kind of classy take on it that I really like it just it gives me like bougie vibes you guys it gives me bougie vibes let me know if it gives you bougie vibes it gives me very bougie vibes anyways <laughs> classic colors um, you have the solids the patterns the glitter header page we have the 15 millimeter we have the dark skin tones I think this is the tall box. I did get the tall box. I decided to just get it, like get the deco and not get the girl. I just really liked kind of this more plain box, I guess. So I went with that. These are the freebie alternative skin tone boxes. The kind of sidebar goodie page, your bottom washi page, and then finally your deco page. So I'm planning on slotting this for the first full week of October. And then for foil, I have these bat underlays in black from Planner Pixie Co. I think I like showed you guys these underlays in my October kit lineup, but I'm not going to end up using it with whatever kit I was saying I was going to use it with before. I think I'm going to use it with this because there are bats all throughout. Um, so I'll be using this. I'm going to be using this instead of um, Dead and Breakfast. So which I think that was the kit I was talking about using the bats with. Uh, but they're like, I think they're butterflies or moths in that kit. This has actual bats in the kit. So I thought it would go a perfect. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to use silver for pretty much everything else. So I have two silver foil bundles here. So I have just a standard like confetti foil bundle from Scribble, Scribble Prince Co. Flip through that pretty quickly. So standard full box overlays, glitter header overlays, standard bougie, your Scripps icons page, and then your bottom washi page. So I think I think what I'm gonna do is use like the solid bow with the bottom washi from this caress press Halloween foil bundle I'll flip through in a second but follow the vision y'all so the solid bow here from SPC with the it's like spider webs on the bottom of this one um, so this is the Halloween themed foil bundle Okay, so instead of doing like the little like kind of whimsical bow, I'm thinking the solid bow with 
like the spider web bottom washi. I'm not entirely sure if that's what I'll do because obviously I can just use this whole Halloween themed foil bundle and call it a day from Caress Press. So we've got the full box overlays, bottom washi and header overlays, scripts and icons, and then two pages of the bougie. So this will be a game time decision, but game time is probably going to be right after I film this. So we're gonna have to see what I end up doing. I would ask you guys for suggestions, but this video, I don't even know when this video is going up and I'm laying the base down for this after I film this video. So, so I am gonna do some mixture or one or the other of these foil bundles, but I think silver is the vibe. I was thinking gold too, but I thought with like all the black, especially with the black underlays, like the silver would really pop. So silver it is. So let me put this back in the cello. Okay, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking um, for the first week of October. I just, I'm gonna leave that out because like I said, I'm gonna lay it down. So I'm just gonna take this out and stick it in the back when we're done. Monster Drive-In still being used, nothing changed there. Booville, nothing changed here, but I didn't get to show you guys the foil last time because it didn't, it hadn't arrived yet, but it is here now. So let me show you guys the Lavender Halloween foil bundle from Alicia Craft. Like, yo, I'm so excited. This is gonna look so good. Like, so good. I don't think it's an exact match, but I think it definitely works. I'm so excited. It's like more of a cooler tone, I feel like, than the one in the kit, but I definitely think it works, so I am pumped. So we have the um, underlays. I went with the busier underlays for this one. So we have two pages of those. The headers, the deco bits, the bottom washi, the dots, and then the little add-on page that has the extra kind of full box overlays, the extra underlays as well. So that's the foil that I'm going to be pairing with Booville. Again, I'm not going to flip through Booville. Booville. Can I speak? Booville. <laughs> because I already did in my October kit lineup. So I'm just sharing the things I didn't have then. Okay. The other edition was a Little Witch. This is actually from last year. I think last year yeah um and I have like everything you guys foil I have cute little date dots and I'm like you know what I need to just use this so I will flip through this stuff quick and then uh the next week is the same and then we'll get into November so <laughs> we have oops see what I mean lots of odds and ends so little witch from SPC we have so. our full boxes our extra full boxes here. This is obviously in an older format. So you have your functionals, your heart checklists. I just want to use this up, y'all. I don't want to hoard it another year, you know what I mean? So deco, page flags, and it's real cute. And the colors are super cute. Like these pastel colors are cute. Your glitter header page, your like curved edge boxes, your solids your patterns i still love these patterns and then your bottom washi love the nails in the hand so we have that and i have just so much stuff let's see if we can leave the foil for last i have the 15 millimeter strip and then i have the alternate skin tones for the hand box we have this tall box and then the little kiddos there so that is little which, let's get my life together. <laughs> um, and I already had, like I said, the foil picked out. So I'm doing hollow for this one. So I pulled all these little hollow bits that I just kind of stuck in here last year, honestly, you guys. So I have the little ghosty date dots. We have, these are from Sticker Guru. And then these full box overlays from Sticker Guru. Super coyote. And then these are from Scoble Prince Co., some leftover ones from last year. We have the little witches date dots, which obviously I'm going to use this one. And a little witch-themed um, foil box or quote box overlay. So I'm probably going to prioritize those over the like Halloween ones. But we'll see what I end up using. Like too cute to spook I think would be cute too. So 
that is the little bits and bobs for foil and then i have the celestial foil bundle from caress press that i'm going to pair with it so we have the full box overlays we have the scripts and icons page whole reinforcers date dots two pages of bougie and then the bottom washi which i think just matches perfectly with this kit because um, it has those celestial elements in the kit as well. So I think this will be super cute. So that's what I'm going to use there, which means I did have to bump out Horror Nights, which I'm really bummed about. But again, I didn't want to hoard this another year. So it's okay. I'll use Horror Nights next year. And hopefully I don't have the same issue next year. But let's be honest, I probably will. It's a vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle, friends. Okay, now let's get into our November kit lineup finally, which was the purpose of said video. <laughs> Here we go. So for the first week of November, I'm using my kit from my shop called Wakanda to celebrate the release of Black Panther 2 Wakanda Forever. And I'm Y'all, I'm beyond words excited. If you are friends to the channel, you know that I am too stinking excited for this movie. So had to go ahead and release this kit. It's no longer available in a shop, um, but I am just, I'm so proud of it, y'all. Um, so we have the full boxes here. It's just so good. We have the little freebie. I'm, I'm just too proud of it, y'all. I really am. Your glitter header page, more boxes, labels. You have some more boxes and labels, both solid and pattern here with some little things, washi. Your bottom washi page, it is split with your date covers and your extra box. I really kind of wanted to prioritize, obviously Wakanda, because the kid is called Wakanda, and the movie going experience. And I also really wanted to celebrate blackness. So I tried to include as many different types of blackness as I could in this kit. Um, so we have more functionals here, both solids and patterns. We have the 15 millimeter and your extra boxes here. I just love love how this came out you guys i'm so proud of it i can't even and then we have deco page flags your sidebar goodies um your headers there and then your squared off boxes so that is wakanda i'm going to be pairing it with foil from happy sticker designs it just shipped so i anticipate it'll probably take you know two to three weeks to get to me because she does ship um internationally she is in germany i believe so um holding out waiting for that so sadly i can't show you guys but i did get it in a blue prism which i think is going to be amazing um i got it in i think in blue prism hollow and silver with the different foils because i couldn't decide so we'll see what i end up landing on as far as this goes but i do have like black panther themed foil from Happy Sticker Designs coming, so I'm super excited. This is a non-negotiable, this is not being moved. Like this is the one kit that you will see on this on this week of November for sure. So that's the non-negotiable. Everything else, who the hell knows? So that's for the week of November 7th. Moving on to the week of November 14th, I have tree. No, Christmas tree. I was going to say tree decorating. Nope, Christmas tree. I keep calling this kit tree decorating, y'all. This is Christmas tree from Caress Press. I am not yet committed to this kit because of the next kit, which you guys can see, has similar elements. But we shall see where we land. Let's go through this kit. So you got your full boxes and it's very like set up for Christmas go and get your tree vibes like very much like a Christmas kind of setup so I thought it would be good for November because we're obviously not like full swing in the season although I know some people start celebrating November 1 power to you it's all all good um so I only am debating using it because the next kit I'm going to show you guys actually has some like Christmas tree shopping kind of um vibes as well so you guys will see that in a second but we've got the full boxes um this is coffee doodles art i really i've been loving coffee doodles art le lately um so i'm here for it the 15 millimeter 
I picked up the redhead girl. Sometimes I, t I pick up the redheads because I feel like they go really well with the color scheme. So picked up the redhead. Also picked up um, the darker skin black hair girl. This is a freebie box that came with the kit. And then we get into the solids here. Your pattern page. Um, your glitter header page. I love this little extra box with the car. I'm I'm really debating on this too because of all the snow elements. Like we're not getting snow in November for the most part. Um, but I know a lot of Christmas kits tend to have those elements. So um, we have the little extra box scene here that I love. Uh, bottom washi, the flat lay here with the coat. And then your deco page with your page flags and squared off boxes. Um, I feel like rose gold is the move, but I definitely have not committed to foil. I basically haven't committed to foil for any of these. I don't think, maybe, well, actually no, I think this is the only one I haven't committed foil to because I'm not sure if I'm going to end up using it. Um, I'd like to tell you that I know what the alternative is going to be, but I don't actually. Um, but I'll tell you what I am thinking. So <laughs> let's go through the rest and then I will tell you guys what I'm thinking. For the week of November 21st, which is Thanksgiving week, I have Noelle from Caress Press. Again, Caress Press over here, like just single-handedly single -handedly taking over the freaking holiday season, but it's fine. So this kit I feel like is so good for November because of the colors. Like the colors are very fall to me versus like the other tree decorating kit I, I showed you guys. So what I'm thinking is I might bump this one up to the week of November 14th and then for the week of November 21st do Friendsgiving from SPC because I do have that kit so we'll see what I end up doing. Honestly there's so much Christmas that I'm trying to fit in as much Christmas into November but again this is all in flux but um let's let's flip, flip through the kit, the kit. So we have the full boxes. It's absolutely stunning like this is beautiful. Um the solids we have the 15 millimeter. Oh, I got both because I didn't know which one I wanted to use. So I have the like green and then the copper one. Then we have this girl that I picked up as an add-on. So medium skin brunette. And this one was a freebie. Then we have the patterns, the glitter header page, um, and then your deco page. Oh, this is more out of order. And <laughs> Um, we have your sidebar goodies, your extra box down here, and then your bottom washi page. And I feel like this box here can make it so that you can kind of use it for Thanksgiving too. Like, especially if you're not someone that likes like a lot of the food boxes or that likes turkey. Like, I feel like this could be a good um, Thanksgiving kit. So that's why I kind of slotted it here for now. But it might change because there's just so many options. Um, let's see, can I get this? Can I get my life together here? Okay, here we go. Um, and then for foil with this, whenever I end up using it, I think I'm gonna be using this silver and gold because I think both gold and silver, okay, we're ripping the cello. That's good. Um, I think both, what in the hell? No wonder I'm ripping it. I'm opening it from the wrong side, y'all. Let's, let's just not even. Um, I think it would look good with it. So I think I'm going to stick to the gold silver mixed metal from SPC. So I don't, I think this is the sparkle one. I don't know. I don't know what the format is, but alas, you've got your full box overlays, header overlays, two pages of those, two pages of the bougie. I don't know. I just feel like this would look really good with this kit. So I think I'm going to roll with that. You have your scripts and icons and then your bottom washi, which is super, super cute. So that is what I'm thinking. I should have left this out. Well, I can stick it in here in the back. There we go. Crisis averted. That's what I'm thinking for the week of November 21st or the week of November 14th. We'll see. <laughs> and then, oops, this is sticking out. Let's just fix this. 
And then for the final week, which is November 28th into the first week of December, I am going to be using this pink diamond. Whoops, she's caught. Oh, the foil's caught, actually. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to be using this Pink Diamond Planner Co. kit. It's the November Mystery, I think from 2021, if I'm not mistaken. I have been holding on to it. I was like, this is definitely going to be used this year. Um, so I'm pumped to use this because I love this kit so much. I love the colors. I love the theme. Of course, I love the art. But what else is new? Pink Diamond Planner Co. Mysteries just do not miss. If you guys are not aware, I do PR for Tasha's shop. You can use my code ANNA15 to save and get my stinking adorable freebie if she is having a sale for a bigger percentage, which usually is 20% off during new releases. Um, go ahead and get you your 20% off and you can stick my name in the notes to seller to get my stinking adorable freebie. Y'all, look at this. <sighs> It's beautiful um so you have the full boxes your deco page like the colors the colors the colors <laughs> the colors they're so good glitter header page i haven't even gone through the format y'all hold on i'm so sorry i'm just like i can't i did mention deco page okay class work labels you have your functionals labels um little things and then your curved edge and square boxes or rectangle boxes i guess um glitter headers square boxes little icons your extra full boxes here oh i love this box with the kit in it so cute in the planner sidebar goodies your solids your patterns your bottom washi i think this was before she did the split yes it was before she did the split but that's fine this could work for a quote box. And then this page is still, still the best thing ever. Like, look at these cuties. Look at this little one. Like, this little one is so adorable. I can't take it. I feel like I gotta put these cuties in my planner too. Oh my God, they're so adorable. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm planning to use for the week of November 28th. So there might be some shuffling around. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is use, there's a couple couple different ways. If I want to do Thanksgiving, it's a Friendsgiving. If not, I could slot this in and have it be like Black Friday related, right? Because it's kind of like Christmas market shopping vibes. I don't know. What am I saying? I have no idea. Let me show you guys the foil that I'm thinking. It's definitely not an exact match, but I think it could be cute. Y'all tell me what you think. So this is the Glimmer Foil Bundle from Caress Press. And it's kind of like in this, I'm going to assume it's like ice blue. I think it's going to look so cute. And I like that it's kind of super subtle, like the patterns, because I want the art to shine because it's stunning. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me know what y'all think. But um, these are the full box overlays. This is the newer format. So you have the extra full box overlays, tall box, and then your glitter header overlays. You have your bottom washi. This will probably give you a better look at the glitter, or I'm sorry, at the at the color of the foil then we have your scripts and icons page and then you have your two pages of bougie so let me give you guys a better look see I feel like this could really let me do this because I feel like it's easier to see on these pages I feel like this could be a vibe you guys what do you guys think let me know down below it's definitely not a perfect match to like the like turquoisey color or like teal color that's in here but I think it's a nice like in between and I think it'll pop against these colors so let me know what you guys think but I'm excited about that vision if I'm being honest so all right y'all that is it um let me go ahead and put this in I realize that it's easier to put them in if I just take the protector out and put them in that way um, but that's what I'm thinking for November. Like I said, I think besides this kit and the Wakanda kit, it's pretty in flux. Like, I don't know. I think the Noel kit is going to be used. I think what's most in flux is that tree decorating kit. And I think I'm either going to exchange it for 
Friendsgiving or for just a different Christmas kit. So we'll see what I end up doing, but that's where we're at for now, y'all. Right, y'all, I'm back because I had a full epiphany, like I'm about to eat dinner. I just made chili, but I had like a full epiphany, so I had to come back. Okay, okay, hear me out. So we've got Black Panther still. I took out tree decorating. This is no more, no longer. We're gonna do Noel for the week of November 14th. Then for the week of November 21st, I have the Pink Diamond Planner Co. kit for now. Then I have the Holiday Cheer Kit that's from my shop for the week of November 28th, I believe. Look at how stinking cute this is, you guys. I'm in love with this. And I do want to use like it's so hard because there's so much good art, but I do want to use the kits that I created. So, um, but anyways, I love the little dog here. He's the star of the show, in my opinion. And I think this is just super cute, like a fun, like, I feel like, I feel like I'm telling a story, y'all, right? Because first you do like the Christmas shopping here, right? In the Christmas market. And then you get all your gifts and you start wrapping and writing your cards and stuff. So I thought this would be kind of cute. Um, you got the wrapping paper. It's just, it's cute. It's cute. I don't know. So, <laughs> um, so we have the full boxes, the glitter header page with your kind of functionals, scallop labels, your little things. Then you have the patterns and solids here, more functionals, little things, washi, your bottom washi page with the box and your date covers. You have more functionals here washi curved edge boxes i tried to mix it up as much as possible then you have your extra boxes here you have the cat which is cute and the little s'mores flat lay you have like a like gift flat lay here and then the front door which i think could be great if you want to put a quote there your 15 millimeter and some more functionals and then you have your deco page and your kind of side bargainies and squared off boxes y'all hear me out because i think my part of my epiphany happened because I think that the matte bronze, um, is it rose mixed metal from SPC would be it for this. I'm pretty sure, I thought I ordered it. I should check the website, but I'm pretty sure it's matte bronze and rose. And I thought I ordered it, but I was checking my like invoices and I haven't ordered it. So I think I need to order it because I think that would be it for this kit. So that's what I'm thinking of using for that. And then I mentioned the Friendsgiving and I never showed you guys. Let me move my broken cello back. <laughs> um, I mentioned Friendsgiving and I never showed you guys. So let me go ahead and show you guys that one. So the foil for holiday cheer. It's gonna be that mixed metal matte bronze rose uh, foil bundle. And then for this one, you guys, if I even end up using it, this would be a sub for the Pink Diamond Planner Co. Um, kit, which I don't really wanna sub to be honest with you, but we'll see what happens. Uh, this is Friendsgiving from Scribble Prince Co. You will be seeing this in an upcoming haul as well, so I'll flip through it rather quickly. It is just so cute. Um, I picked up the extra color. And then the tall box here was a freebie. She's so pretty. And then you have the Thanksgiving box add-ons. If you're not having a Friendsgiving or you don't want to use it as like a Friendsgiving kit, you can just do a standard like Thanksgiving. So there's an alternate box here, like an alternate double box scene, and then an alternate box for the one that says Friendsgiving. And then you have a little flat lay there. Then you have your deco page, flags, your glitter header with your food boxes your curved edge boxes, your little things page, solids, your patterns, and then your bottom washi with the little puzzle, which I think is super duper cute. Someone mentioned that little puzzle was a scene from another kit, and that's a really cute touch. I actually didn't notice that when I first flipped through, and I forget who it was that mentioned it, but shout out to that person <laughs> for being observant, unlike your girl. So, that is Friendsgiving from Scribble Prince Co. I'm not sure what I would do for a foil for this quite yet, since I'm not even sure if I'm gonna end up using it. So foil on this is kind of on hold, but if you guys have foil suggestions, as always, feel free to leave them down 
below y'all. All right, I'm feeling a little better about my November kit lineup now that I've shared all the things. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my Hot Mess Express November kit lineup slash October changes slash November epiphanies. <laughs> if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it really does help support the channel. Thank you so, so much for watching y'all and I will catch y'all real, real soon. Bye.